Hi, Celia Gates here and time is just flying past. It's day 18 of this challenge and this amazing, beautiful, sunny day, I just had to bring you down to the cliffs. Now, perhaps not quite for the reason why you think to share this amazing scenery with me, but because I wanted to point out something which was perhaps not as nice or inviting. In fact, I wanted to relate a conversation that I'd had with a friend of mine yesterday. What I'm finding is happening as I'm running through this 30-day challenge is that the posts are almost becoming points of reference within the day. I'm looking out for inspiration in everything that I'm doing so that I know what I'm going to say to you each day. Well, yesterday, having a conversation with a friend of mine, she'd shared a particular story with me. And at the end of that story, she asked, you know, and how can a situation like that not make you anything but confused, depressed and stressed? Confused, depressed and stressed. That's got to pretty much be the worst case scenario, the worst situation to be in. Well, how can you avoid being confused, depressed and stressed? Because the three do tend to come together. And when we find ourselves in that situation, it's pretty hard to get ourselves out of it. In fact, that's actually the reason why I've brought you down here. Because believe it or not, as tragic as it seems, that white cliff in the background behind me is actually one of the highest suicide points in England. Now, people get to that point where they can't see another option. They can't find another way forward. And so they don't actually think about it any further than that. They take that action, which is catastrophic because they're confused, depressed and stressed. But those are emotions which we can choose to take on board. I also read a blog post this morning written by a nurse who'd identified common regrets that people tend to have at the end of their lives. Now, apart from saying, you know, they wished they hadn't worked as hard or perhaps spent more time with their family, sharing their emotions, that perhaps they'd lived the life they actually set out to lead as opposed to living by the expectations of others. One of the key things that stood out to me was the fact that people regretted not allowing themselves to be happy. Now, for any of you who've done any of the work that I do or indeed taken part in the global brainstorm exercise, then you'll know how I use metaphors of the weather to help you frame a balanced state of mind. Being confused, depressed or stressed is not a balanced state of mind. It's a very one-sided state of mind. The sunny day mindset, on the other hand, that opportunity to really open your eyes, to see the bigger picture, to look out onto the horizon and to embrace other opportunities by adopting that different point of view. Well, that's a choice you make. You choose whether to be happy or whether to be allow a situation to overwhelm you. So rather than control that or try to control that which is actually out of your control, let go of it and just allow yourself to be happier by embracing a sunny day mindset. By all means, pop along to the globalbrainstorm.com website and try out a guided brainstorming session. You might find that that 15 minutes of your time invested really does help you overcome those feelings of confusion, depression or even stress so that you start to embrace a more holistic, balanced picture. You start to make better decisions and take actions that support your growth as you move forward. Because at the end of the day, that's what life's all about. Searching for significance, contributing back and embracing all that we're able. So I personally choose to be happy on this beautiful sunny day and to share that with you too. See you tomorrow. Take care.